We're going to continue along with conditionals in this video. So in the last video, we added an if statement where we tested one condition, whether to see the food variable was equal to apple. But what if we wanted to add multiple conditions, specifically adding a condition for meat? And that is where the else if statement comes into play. It is the else if statement that allows you to add multiple conditions. And so we'll put it right below our if statement. So, and so I'll just copy and paste it right into here. Now there's a particular rule about the else if. You can only use the else if if you have a if statement first. So you need to have an if statement and then after the if statement comes the else if. So the else if is always the second condition. So think of the else if almost as a add-on to the if statement. And so once again, this is our first condition and this is our second condition and the else if allows us to add multiple conditions. So let's go ahead and run this. And of course we get the alert, we ate some meat, which we expected because our value of course is meat for our food variable. And so uh, let's go ahead and add another condition for another food type here. And we'll just copy and paste this. And let's add something for fast food. So we were really hungry. And we'll say we ate some fast food. And then of course we'll change our value up here to fast food. And let's save this. And we'll run this. And we get the alert, we ate some fast food. And so what happens here is JavaScript will test the first condition first. So this was false, so it'll move on to the second condition, which is meat. It saw that this was false, and so it moved on to the third condition and saw that this was true, this matched, and so it executed this block of code. And now if we had another food type in here, such as chocolate, all of these conditions would have been false, and therefore the else statement would have been triggered, and the block of code in here would be executed. And of course, the else does not have a condition. It is always the final statement that gets triggered if all of the conditions are false. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. In the next video, we will continue on with conditionals. And then in the video after that, we will start to look at loops. See you guys in the next video.